Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Vijay Mandari, Associate Professor in CSE Department, That's IIT Bhopal. So let's start uh, IWT with JavaScript Advanced version. So here I will tell you about the JavaScript versions. So uh, JavaScript uh, is a modern scripting language that is popular worldwide among developers. It is a lightweight and interpreted compiled languages that can be used on the both client side as well as the server side. It was invented in year of 1995 by Brandon each. So over the years, the languages has improved a lot of new features have been added and which makes the coding process even easier. So this language became an ECMA standard in the year of 1997. So I will tell you about the JavaScript versions. So here uh, you can see latest versions uh, here, ES1, ES2, ES3, ES4, ES5, ES6 and different versions are launched. So 8 edition was launched in the year of 2017 ES ECMS script as well as 9, 9th edition was introduced in year of 2018. 10th edition is introduced in year of 2019. So uh, it is a count, uh, but like countless, like uh, in 14th edition is introduced in 2023 ECMA scripts. So these are the latest JavaScript versions which I have shown you here. If you have a, uh, if, if you want to uh, uh, like take some knowledge about the basic knowledge in JavaScript, so you can prefer my previous slides and previous lectures. Now we tell you about the how to add JavaScript in HTML document. So JavaScript code is inserted between scripts, tags, which I have earlier told you in my uh, previous lecture. So when used in an HTML document, so scripts can be placed inside the body or head section. So HTML page or inside both the head and the body, we can also place JavaScript outside uh, and uh, HTML file, which can be linked by the specifying its sources in the script tag. So adding the JavaScript code inside head sections, we can see here like JavaScript code is placed inside the head section of an HTML page and the function is invoked when a button is clicked. So here you can see in next slide, like document type HTML, head, title. We, had, uh, we have given here title and in JavaScript inside the head section is scripts. Here is start the functions, my functions name document get elements by ID and inner html content changed here we have been uh, given the scripts and we close and close the scripts here. and we start the head and body so here you are using we are using add javascript code here inside head section so we are uh, taking the h2 sex uh, h2 and s3 so here we are taking the id demo and is styling color green and uh, welcome to my page so button type we can use the, like uh, buttons on click my functions and we enclose the html so these are the things uh, that we can see here and uh, like uh, here we also javascript code can be embedded inside the head sections and body sections as well as we can see here in this code like uh, demo styles color green so we are changing frequently the colors clicking the functions and buttons and uh, content uh, changing the content in some functions so here in close uh, and don't forget to enclose the uh, scripts here and body and then at the end of the you have to enclose the html so these are the things you have to uh, you have to use and uh, you have to clear it okay now we can go to uh, next slide so how we can use the external javascript so external javascript can also be used in external files and the file extension of the javascript will be .js so to use an external script put the name of the scripts file in the src attribute of a script tags so external scripts cannot contain script tags so for example like uh, you, we have uh, taken the functions name function and function name document uh, dot get element by id demo and then uh, dot in our html paragraph changed and uh, we are in closing the with this uh, curly process so we can use some external javascripts here if you have uh, doubt so you can uh, post your query in chat box also so here uh, like uh, uh, we started the document type html 
and we are making uh, some pages here in text.html and uh, we are in starting the head and closing the head and inside it we are giving the some titles external javascript in body parts like uh, we are giving the h2 sections where we are uh, creating the external javascripts and as well as h3 h3 so id is demo and style color green welcome to this page and uh, we are showing the welcome to this page and then the button type button on click my functions and click here so and we can close the body section in html so these are the things and uh, we are creating uh, just a page and using some buttons here so i think uh, i hope so you are understanding these things what are the advantages of uh, external javascripts so first um, advantage is that cached javascripts file can speed up page loadings it makes javascripts and html easier to read and maintain it separates the html and javascript codes and it focus on the code and the usability which is on uh, one javascript code that can run in various html files that i have shown you in uh, previous uh, slides so that is the uh, uh, most uh, important advantages of external java uh, scripts so it uh, it uh, takes a few seconds or a few minutes to like loading the page and it, it speeds the page loadings so it makes javascript and html easier to read and maintain so it separates the html and javascript code so these are the major advantages of uh, javascripts right so how we are using the external javascripts as a references so we can just references and external scripts in three ways like by using a full url by using a full file path and without using any byte so here we, you can uh, just uh, give the src and uh, some uh, url uh, uh, urls and by using a file path like uh, where you are storing into a file path so you just give the slash and script.js what is your scripting name and without using any path like source is called script.js you can just give uh, the name of the file here if you have any doubts you can post a query in chat box so i will clear uh, your doubts about the external javascript references and uh, the last like javascript statement so the programming instructions written in programming programs in a programming language are known as statements so in this order the execution of statement is the same as they are written like semicolons like some let let's say like some variables a b c and uh, here we are uh, giving these some values like a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 and at the end we are adding some values c is equal to a plus b after this we have written the some functions like console.log and the value of c is c plus uh, so we are um, uh, adding strings here so a statement is javascript the value of c is 5 like 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. so multiple statements on the lines are allowed if they are separated with the semicolons so a is equal to 2 semicolon b is equal to 3 semicolon z is equal to a plus b the secondly part is code block so javascript statements can be grouped together inside curly brackets such as group are known as code blocks the purpose of grouping is to refine statements to be executed together so javascript functions name you here you can take some functions my functions name and console.log hello and console.log how are you so at the end of you are and calling the my function so it will type or it will give the results hello how are you so this this will be the this uh, uh, will the results that will be showing into this uh, slide now uh, here we can see in, uh, in another uh, slide we will see some advanced uh, advanced concepts of javascripts and how we will uh, like preparing the web pages so at the end uh, we have seen the versions of the javascripts we are uh, like uh, we have used we are using like in the three kind of uh, dvs like okay so <clears throat> if you have any doubt so you can post a query in chat box I will try to clear it. Thank you. Thanks for the day and uh, attending this sessions.